one quick message. We are in the last day and hour. Jesus is returning. And if you are not saved, you need to ask him into your you need to ask him to come into your heart to be saved. You can do this by by this simple prayer by saying this. And the prayer is, Lord, I'm a sinner. I believe you sent your son to come to this earth, for he died on the cross for my sins. Forgive me, Jesus. Forgive me for my sins. Thank you. This is the book of Genesis chapter 37 and it's called Joseph's dream dreams of greatness and starting with Genesis 37 verse 1 and it says this now Jacob dwelt in the land where his father was a stranger in the land of Canaan this is the history of Jacob. Jake, Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers, and the lad was with the son of Bilhan, Bilha, and the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives. And Joseph brought a bad report of them to his father. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. Also he made him a tunic of many colors. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peacefully to him. Now Joseph had a dream and he told it to his brothers and they hated him even more. So he said to them, please hear this dream which I have dreamed. There we were blind sheathed in the land. Then behold my ship chef rose and also stood upright in and indeed your sheep stood all around and bowed down to my chef and his brother said to him shall you indeed reign over us or shall you indeed have domination over us so they hated him even more for his dream and for his words then he dreamed still another dream and told it to his brothers and said look I have dreamed another dream and this time the Sun and the moon and the eleven star bowed down to me so he told it to his father and his brothers and his father rebuked him and said to him, What is this dream that you have dreamed? Shall your mother and I and your brothers 
indeed have come to bow down to the earth before you. And his brothers envied him, and his fathers kept the matter in mind. Then he, then his brothers were, went to feed their flock in Shechem. And Israel said to Joseph, Are, are not your brothers feeding the flocks in Shechem? Come, and I will send you to them. So he said to him, Here I am. Then he said to him, Go, please go and see if it is well with your brothers and well with the flock, and bring back word to me. So he went. So he sent him out of the valley. <clears throat> the valley of Hab Habborn. And he went to Shechem. Now a certain man found him. And there he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, What are you seeking? So he said, I am seeking my brothers. Please tell them where they are feeding their flocks. And the man said, They have departed from here. For I heard them, so let us go to... As I was saying, let us go to Dot Hand. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them in Dot Hand. Now, when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to kill him. Then they said to one another, Look, this dreamer is coming. Come, therefore, let us now kill him and cast him into some pit. And when shall say, and we shall say, some wild beasts have devoured him, we shall see what will become of his dreams. But Reuben heard it. And he delivered him out of the hands and said, Let us not kill him. And Reuben said to them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit, which is in the wilderness, and do not lay a hand on him, that he might deliver him out of their hands. And bring him back to his father. So it came to pass when Joseph had come to his brother. That they stripped Joseph of his tunic. The tunic of many colors that was on him. Then they took him and cast him into a pit. And the pit was empty. There was no water in it. So it came to not came to pass. And they sat down to eat a meal. Then they lifted up their eyes and looked. And there was a company of Ishmael Ishmaelites coming from Gilead with their camels bearing spices balm and myrrh and on their way to carry them down to Egypt so Judas said to his brothers what profit is there if we kill our brother and conceal his blood come and let us 
sell him to the Ishmaelites. And let not our hand be upon him. For he is our brother and our flesh. And his brother listed the Midianites, traitors, passed by. So the brothers pushed jokes Joseph up and lifted him out of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 shekels of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. Then Reuben returned to the pit, and indeed Joseph was not in the pit, and he tore his clothes. And he returned to his brother and said, The lad is no more, and I will, where shall I go? So they took Joseph's tunic, killed the, killed the kid of the goat, and dripped the tunic in the blood. They Then they sent the tunic of many colors, and they brought it to their father and said, We have found this. Do you know whether it is your son's tunic or not? And he recognized and said, It is my son's tunic. A wild beast has devoured him. Without doubt, Joseph is torn to pieces. Then Jacob tore his clothes, put shackcloth on his wrist, and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and daughters arose to comfort him. But he refused to be comfort and said, For shall I go down to go down into the grave to mourn to my son is mourning. Thus his father wept for him. Now the men knights had sold him in Egypt to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh and captain of the guard.